Uh, listener Greg says, uh, my current MacBook Pro is about one year old. I believe it's the very last of the Intel processor MacBook Pros. The trade-in value, however, means that I can get one of the M1 Airs or MacBook Pros from last year for not much money exchanged at all. He says, my needs don't warrant the power of the newly announced M1 Pro or M1 Max models. Right. Yeah. Just one problem. My current work setup is to take my MacBook Pro, plug it into a single hub that provides connection to power, a few other things, and two large monitors. Would I be able to utilize this setup with a new M1 Mac if I got a different USB hub? Is there anything I can do to make three monitors work on an M1 Mac? But natively, the M1 chip supports two screens. And if you have a laptop with an M1 chip, one of those is the internal screen, whether or not the it's running in clamshell mode. However... It can be done with USB graphics called the software and the technology, let's say, is called DisplayLink. Uh, what that means is your Mac will be telling over USB a device to then convert the data into graphical form and display it on a screen. Uh, we'll put some links in the uh, in the show notes. The DisplayLink from Synaptics is the software and then there are all kinds of USB adapters listed in, uh, at, at a web page that they host. Uh, and we will put a link to those in the show notes. Alex in the chat room points out, guys, that um, Sidecar would work. Live.MacGeekGab.com is where Alex and many others are right now while we're recording this episode. And if you subscribe to MacGeekGab.com slash calendar, you will know when we are recording episodes. So if you want to join us, feel free. In fact, you are not just feel free. You are invited. Consider this your personal invite. No one else is hearing this right now except you. This is your invite. Well, if there's two of you in the car, you're both invited. But it's just the two of you. Nobody else.